You're watching WMAR 2 News. A COVID-19 booster shot could be on the way for kids ages 5 through 11. Pfizer BioNTech says it has, it has submitted its emergency use authorization application to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The company says trials have shown a strong immune response with no safety problems. Meanwhile, Pfizer is still studying how children younger than five react to the COVID-19 vaccine. Results of those trials should be out in the coming months. The age group is the only one not yet approved to be vaccinated. If you've been thinking about a career in healthcare or maybe changing jobs within healthcare field, uh, join WMRT News' Megan Knight tomorrow morning for a Facebook Live discussion with GBMC. They'll be talking about job opportunities at the hospital, the benefits of working at GBMC, and some of their most urgent needs when it comes to filling jobs. That's tomorrow morning at 9 on WMRT News' Facebook page. Toppled and tossed into the Inner Harbor. You remember this was the Christopher Columbus statue near Little Italy. Uh, brought down by protesters in July of 2020. But recently, it's remained, it's been remade by a local artist. Sculptor Will Hemsley built the statue, spending $80,000 to make a near identical replica. The statue will not be going back up in Little Italy, but John Pica, president of the Italian American Organizations United, says something less controversial will replace it. It's going to be replaced by a statue of an anonymous immigrant, an Italian immigrant um, that will sit on top of the base. Pica hopes to rename the area where the Columbus statue stood Pizza Little Italy. As for the new statue, Pico says they don't know where it will go just yet. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Cesar Cornejo here, and we can take a look at what we can expect to see for our Tuesday. It's going to be a great one out there in the matter of sunshine. Temperatures will be cooler as we start off the morning in those mid 40s, and we only get up towards those mid 50s as we continue even into the parts of the evening time frame. And that's really the trend that we'll continue to see for the next few days. But then once we get to the weekend, some slight warming and an increase in cloud cover. Stick with us online at WMRTNews.com for updates and top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMRT News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Kendall Green.